Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Josh, and this is your Arbitrage News Daily for January 17th, 2023. Long before Elon Musk purchased Twitter for $44 billion in October, he had set his sights on Tesla, the electric automaker where he continues to serve as CEO and from which he derives most of his wealth and fame. Musk claimed in an August 7, 2018 tweet that he had lined up the financing to pay for a $72 billion buyout of Tesla, which he then amplified with a follow-up statement that made a deal seem imminent. But the buyout never materialized, and now Musk will have to explain his actions under oath in a federal court in San Francisco. The deal or the trial was triggered by a class action lawsuit on behalf of investors who owned Tesla stock for a 10-day period in August 2018. More after this on Arbitrage News Daily. Papa, why can't we telegraph while riding a horse? Son, there ain't no one to blame but Jeffro. He was riding old Betsy the Stallion, tip-tapping away at his telegraph, when blam, ran right into the side of the saloon. Well, if Jeffro can't do it, neither should you. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. The fastest Corvette ever made comes out later this year, and it's not powered solely by a howling V8. The E-Ray is a gas-electric hybrid, the first all-wheel drive version of Chevrolet's storage sports car with the front wheels running on an electric motor, the traditional 6.2-liter V8 powering the back. Aimed at affluent buyers who want new technology in the top line, Chevrolet sports car, the $104,000 E-Ray jerks your head back as it goes from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Your Tuesday focus is a real estate investment trust, or REIT, that owns and leases industrial and logistics properties throughout the United States. Industrial Logistics Properties Trust, symbol ILPT, starts around 4.05 a share, Make sure you share us with your friends. We're Arbitrage, wherever you find your fine podcasts or your social. Back after this. Hey, hon, what you doing with your phone? Taking pictures? No, I'm asking you questions. Like what? Hey, Bobo, do flowers have best friends? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, follow me. I want to show you something. Look, flowers do have best friends. Whoa. Some answers can only be found in nature. Discover the unsearchable. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a trail near you. Brought to you by the United States Forest Service and the Ad Council. Your Tuesday News of the Odd has to deal with what people might find buried in the muck at the bottom of New York City's East River. They'd likely say mob boss before thinking of mammoth bones. But several groups of treasure hunters have taken to the waterway in recent weeks after hearing a guest on comedian Joe Rogan's podcast claim a boxcar's worth of potentially valuable prehistoric mammoth bones was dumped in the river in the 40s. Have a great day. Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics, LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.